Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kuti Loops. Guess what? That's right. I got yet another mod. This time I got a mod called Miniaturization, and what it does is it lets me uninstall uh, and reinstall um, the workbenches. And the reason why I got that mod is because I kind of want to set up different types of work... Um, not workstations, uh, di different types, uh, types of workshops. Uh, like I want to have a research workshop, I want to have a stone cutting slash sculpting workshop, I want to have a ta tailoring workshop, um, etc, etc. Um, so that way I can just move these about rather than having to rebuild them and uh, deconstruct them and rebuild them. Because if I deconstruct and rebuild, then I'm losing out on components, I think. Because you don't get the full amount of resources back when you deconstruct something. So I'm thinking this will probably save us some components down the long, um, down the line. And speaking of components, we managed to finish researching the component assembly bench. So I'm gonna build this. I think this is one of the um, benches that I can actually reinstall, um, thanks to the mod. So we'll plonk it down here for now. But later, when we have a proper metallurgy workshop set up, set up, we'll uh, yeah, we'll do it there. Okay, that's good. And also, let's try to get the apartments down here built. Because if we get raided anytime soon, we're gonna need some uh, prison cells and whatnot. And I think we'll go with steel doors. Yes. Let's get these things out of here. Let's also get the excess rice into our um, stockpile zone here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I fixed this. I just put this back to what it was before. And did I set the zone correctly? I did not. There you go, buddies. Um, you might have noticed this dumping stockpile zone here. So what this is... Is, okay, before I uh, talk about this, let me just provide a little preamble. We don't have a lot of uh, feed for uh, to maintain both our rabbits or our herbivores and our uh, wild boars. Our wild boars are omnivorous and they'll pretty much eat anything. And another speaking of wild boar, a wild boar has uh, become self-tame. Great. So what I've done is <laughs> I've set it so that we can dump some uh, dump the bodies of our um, enemies into this area. Now, normally I wouldn't do this because it's so uncharacteristic of the boys from the dwarf, especially Lister and Crichton. Um, Rimmer and Cat, I don't think would care as much, but uh, Lister would um, certainly object heavily. Um, <laughs> so, hopefully, because we're so short on animal feed, hopefully by supplementing our um, pigs' uh, new, um, dietary needs with the bodies of our enemies, We'll be able to meet those demands. And I'm also a full, um, a firm believer of you are what you eat in the sense that um, whatever you eat uh, becomes the building blocks for your cells in the future. And if you're pregnant, also becomes um, building blocks for your baby. So if you are in fact cannibalizing what you're, while you're pregnant, then that means that your baby is in fact formed from another human being. So my thought is that if our boars grow up eating the dead bodies of our enemies, right, um, then we, in turn, will eat the boars, and the boars, and we will be ingesting the bodies of our enemies and shit, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> ah, it's a strange thought, but I like it. It works for me. At least, I think it works for me. <laughs> Also, um, speaking of... Wait. That's a weird segue. Never mind. Um, so I've been thinking that we might need to get another security uh, bunker thing set up over here. So we've got this uh, going. But um, I've been doing some thinking ever since we had the uh, run-in with the um, uh, mechanoids here. Um, since we did so well, ignoring the fact that uh, Cat almost died... I think it's about time we deal with the ancient danger up here. Now, I'm not quite sure what's in here. It may be mechanoids. It may not be. But I found generally, when it comes to these large ancient dangers, especially the square ones, they tend to be uh, filled with ancient crypto sleep caskets guarded by mechanoids. So what I'm going to do 
is do what I did before. We're going to set up a defensive barrier here, right? That's good. And then we will get sandbags around it. And what I'll do is once this is complete, let's also get some of the uh, wood out of here. Once this is complete, what I'll do is um, I will get the colonists lined up and then have them not deconstruct the wall, but actually blast it, like tear it down using force. That way we don't have to risk anyone to um, deconstruct it or whatever and they can just tear a hole. And then maybe by doing that, it'll coax out the mechanoids in there into the outside world so that we can deal with them. Perhaps? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, I mean, all my ideas are kind of crap, so... <laughs> it might... It may end up uh, backfiring terribly. But we'll see. Whose vomit is this? Bramble, why the hell are you vomiting all over the place? Oh, she's got food poisoning. What the fuck is this? Strong has gotten sick from the plague. What the hell? Vanthus, you too? What the hell were you guys doing? That you contracted the plague? I told you not to play with um, the Black Death victims. Good grief. Maybe they took a, a page from the um, uh, court physicians in uh, Crusader Kings 2 and decided to treat their food poisoning with uh, like a blackened, severed, pox-ridden hand or something. Good grief. Do not do anything that the court physicians do in uh, Crusader Kings 2, guys. Jeez. Okay, so I think Sve is our best medic. So, no, no, don't try to arrest Vanthus. That's a little excessive, just because he got the plague. Um, Sve, try to, yeah, tend to Vanthus. And then once Cat and, um, maybe Crichton are up, they'll help out with the, uh... Nope, Crichton is just gonna eat. He's not even gonna bother, um, fixing up strong or anything. And now Crichton is going to research. Fantastic. Hey, can you... Oh, Cat's going to treat strong. That's fine. And let's see how well you do, Cat. You're a pretty good doctor, right? 83%, not bad. Let's also get this steel out of here. And I just noticed that this is a uh, potential hazard for us. In the sense that it's a bit of a gooseneck. And um, if the... If raiders come in and try to... Um, you know, sap their way through the uh, gooseneck here. This is potential danger. So let's get this thing strengthened up. And let's also mine out these chunks. Now I'm hoping this isn't a gaping hole. Because if it is, we might die. But I'm guessing this actually, the steel wall extends down here as well. So I think we're going to be okay. Fantastic. Okay. So we have a lot of construction stuff to do. But I think the boys are up to it. Hopefully. And our animals are being well fed. Perfect. Uh, what do we want to prioritize in terms of building stuff? I think we should probably prioritize this. Because if we get raided from the uh, west, then this is going to be our only protection against them-ish. Well, besides the uh, improvised turrets and whatnot. And I'm actually really looking forward to uh, getting steel um, as a regular resource because then that way we can just build steel everything it'll be fantastic and super strong but um, another thing I just realized is that we should probably not store our art here let's store it over here that way in case any orbital trade ships go by we can um, trade with them directly and uh, sorry we can trade these sculptures with them and uh, life will be better Vanthus, stay in bed, man. What the hell, guys? I need you guys to uh, get better and don't die to the plague. We'll need tending another four hours or so. That's okay. Though Vanthus's um, plague treatment isn't looking as good as uh, Strong's, but Crichton kind of botched that, I think. Hey, okay, Lister, you're building the uh, barricade there. Fantastic. So that's almost done. This place needs a lot more work. Miwino is harvesting berries. And eating said berries. Good on you, I guess. Okay, so it's right now it is summer. So once we go into fall, which will be tomorrow, let's not forget to turn on our heaters. Just in case we have a uh, emergency cold snap or something. 
but it's raining. Does this improve the growth rate of our plants? It does not. And Vanthus requires treatment. Vanthus, prioritize resting. Strong, you too. Come on, guys. Good grief. Sve, we're gonna need you to um, tend to Vanthus here. Okay. Did a, pretty, did a much better job of uh, patching up um, Strong's um, plague than you did Vanthus there, Crichton. Trying to tell us something? What the hell, Vanthus? Rest until heal. Come on, man. Can't have you spreading the plague to the rest of the colonists. Alright. Nice. We got the hay into our, um, into our farm. Perfect. Uh, kind of wondering if we should just put this turkey out of its misery. Let's see what we have. Uh, what the fuck is this? Why have I set 32 as the maximum number of, um, male rabbits? That's not right. Uh, maybe we shouldn't kill any of our turkeys right now. Because they're still very much so... Well, this turkey farm isn't up and running, is what I'm trying to say. We don't have enough, um, turkeys for that. Fall has begun, as expected. Boss is busy beaving or beavering away, building or hauling shit. And we just need a couple more sandbags built there. That's ready. And all the resources are here. We just need someone to take care of it. Now the components. Uh, let's see how many uh, or how much steel it requires to build one thing of components. 25? Okay, that's a lot less than I imagined. I thought it was somewhere around 100, but if we can do 25 per, um, per component, then let's try to maintain 30 components at a time. I don't know how long it's going to take to um, make said components, though. It might actually be a long time. Because re required is 150 per component. Right. What about these things? How long does it take to make a sculpture? Uh, a lot more. What about a small sculpture? Okay, so it's about half the uh, length of time it takes to create a small sculpture to make a component. Got it. Um, alright, so we've got at least one, uh, what's it? One apartment ready to roll. But that being said, none of it has, um, well, the apartments here don't have any ventilation or any kind of, um, temperature control, so we might need to look into perhaps building either a heater or a cooler, possibly both. Let's not have tasks we can't complete. Okay. How else, how is everything else going? Got a lot of berries. If you can get these out of the rain, that would be fantastic. And let's also get this cloth has just been, I guess, harvested. Good. We could do with a little bit more cloth, I think, because we're starting to run low. Yeah, anything below a thousand cloth, I consider low, because it takes like seven cloth per tile of um, um, carpet. Speaking of cloth, I just remembered that we should probably get a billiards table up and running. There we go. And also, since we're sprucing up our kitchen, let's go ahead and destroy these things and try to get them built better. Although, I mean, you have some normal chairs and whatnot, but otherwise they're pretty bad. No, don't destroy the superior chair. Get rid of this for sure, though. And as long as our conduit... No, that's not a power conduit at all. Never mind. Okay, so we got the berries out of the elements. Great. And we've got some rice, but thankfully it doesn't spoil for a little while. And I think we should probably have more hay coming online soon. Um, Vanthus, how's your play going, buddy? Okay, looks like his immunity has taken, has overtaken the plague. Great. Same with strong. Perfect. Though I've noticed that Vanthus' plague situation is a little bit more developed than uh, strong's. Wonder why that is. Dry thunderstorm. Oh, please no. Please no. Okay, you know what? We actually have this set up. So, after you guys are done with this, actually, let's just deal with this now. I'd rather rip this band-aid off now um, than later. Okay, let's get you guys in there. Cat, you, you can be in the middle. Lumi, you can be on the outskirt-ish. 
Vanthus, you can sleep it off. Me win all, nope. Boss, let's have you in. Strong, you're incapable. Violence, fu. I want you to go over here and bramble. Let's have you go next to Lister. Fantastic, okay. Actually, Bramble shouldn't be shooting because she has an incendiary launcher and I don't want to set fire to this thing. So, everyone except for Bramble? Are you guys ready for this? Okay. Deep breath. Here we go. Let's open this bad boy up. Lister is not firing because I don't think he has line of sight, which is unfortunate. Neither does Lumi. Maybe we send Lumi here? Can you fire now? Wait, she can't. Okay, what is this? Crypto sleep caskets. Six crypto sleep caskets. Are there any mechanoids? I can't tell. Maybe we just can't see them or something? But I think... A squirrel has gone mad. Unbelievable. It's heading straight for us. Uh, can you guys take care of the squirrel that's about to bite your faces off? But as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like there are any mechanoids in here. Which is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So let's haul these things. What is this? A Psychic Sooth Pulsar. That's Luciferium. What is this? A Psychic Insanity Lance. The hell does that do? One use artifact that drives, drives any character into a berserk state from any distance, even through walls. Whoa! That would be super useful in case we get like a shit ton of uh, raiders trying to um, set up shop outside of our um, place. Or maybe if we decide to go raid the raiders. But um, I know we we're hauling the Luciferium, but no one touched that shit, okay? So the Crypto Sleep Caskets, in my experience, they have either been um, housing mechanoids, or refugees, or pirates. So since there's a 2 out of 3 chance that it's going to be something bad, I'm thinking maybe we should set up some sort of like kill box type situation, but with, um, uh, but with these things. So what I'll do is if we open one of these up, I think they all open up at the same time. So if we open one of them up and it turns out to be a mechanoid or a group of pirates, Crichton has accepted Bramble's marriage proposal. What the fuck? At some point in the coming days of, or seasons, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. What the hell? Bramble, the human, and Crichton are getting married. This is unbelievable. Anyways, um... So, what was I saying? Ugh, shit, I can't remember now. Okay, so um, if it turns out to be mechanoids or um, pirates, whoever opens it will probably get like blasted upon by everyone inside at the same time, and they probably have no chance to survive make their time. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to have some like winding corridors and whatnot and try to block these off one by one. Um, and then that way uh, we can... Set up some sort of like um, heat box over here that'll funnel the hot air into the uh, crypto sleep uh, casket areas. We'll open one of them up, and if it turns out to be a pirate or a mechanoid, then we'll have everyone blast on that one guy. He'll die, and then the person who opened it up will uh, bring them back out, right? And then we'll block off the area and then watch everyone just burn to death. Is that a good idea? That might not be a good idea. I just kind of thought of this. Um, so I'm not sure if that'll work or not, but I don't know. I just kind of got inspired by ideas of uh, kill boxes and whatnot. Let's also remove all the floors here. So whenever you guys have the chance, please go ahead and um, remove basically everything, except for the crypto sleep caskets, which I don't think we even have the option of uh, removing. So I think we're okay there. All right. Um. I notice that the deconstruction aspect of things happens rather slowly. And we haven't used any of the insect meat to make food. Is there a reason for that? Are we avoiding the use of insect meat as uh, food? Are you guys prejudiced against insect, insect meat? I mean, I guess I would be too, considering that I have very little experience with insect meat. I think the most exotic meat that I've had was... Frog? 
Crocodile? Have I had insect meat? Possibly? Maybe? Probably inadvertently. I've definitely like swallowed a like fruit fly or whatever while walking down the street. It was so weird. I fucking saw that thing. I looked it in the eye and it basically flew into my like throat. Son of a bitch, tried to kill me. Evanthus, how's your plague? Extreme. Oh god. That doesn't sound good at all. Sva? Uh, Sva is sleeping. He's almost up though. So Sva, gonna need you to... Oh, you're already doctoring Vanthus. Okay, good. Yeah, sorry doctor. But we're gonna have to uh, wake you up to um, deal with Strong and uh, Vanthus' plague situation. Actually, Strong has already been tended to. And he's almost immune now. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That's cool. And Vanthus is almost immune as well. Severe illness. Vanthus? We know this. I don't know why the game is notifying me now. And Lister... Slash, um... Cinzano Bianco Lister... Is now building the uh, billiards table that he will now... That he... Upon which he will play and dazzle everyone. And miss all the uh, pockets as he plays. Okay. What sweet deliciousness do these Crypto Sleep Caskets hold? Could it be... A... Um... What was the lady of the, uh... The, the lady that escaped from the prison... Colony? In the, um... In the escape pod or whatever, I forget... Uh, was it Bianca or something? Oh my goodness, I need to uh, rewatch some of the old, uh... Red Dwarf stuff. Good grief. I'm such an embarrassment. Have we made any components? No, we haven't made a single uh, component. Sva? Can we get you to actually um, prioritize making components, buddy? What the shit? Guys! Stop! This is insane. Okay, first off... Uh, clear the roof, okay? Um, we don't want to do any of this right now. Good grief. I don't want the uh, roof collapsing on your heads and killing you guys. Jeez, this is for your own good. Once we clear off the roof, then we'll resume the deconstruction of the uh, steel walls. Although it doesn't take much to deconstruct these things, does it? Huh, I mean, they're not super weak. Yet, they get deconstructed super fast. Not sure I understand, but okay. Fair enough. Alright, great. So now that we have that the uh, the roof gone, we, let's uh, resume the deconstruction of the steel wall. And we don't have to worry about shit um, exploding from the roof collapsing on the uh, Crypto Sleep caskets. They've been a little damaged. But, thankfully, they have not yet opened. So, um... Hmm. It's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure if we shoot at it, they will mo they will definitely open. That's been my experience anyways. And I think shooting at it doesn't actually um, change the disposition of the inhabitants. So even if they were um, refugees and not uh, pirates or mechanoids, I think they don't get angry at the fact that you shot at their sl uh, crypto sleep casket. Yeah, but we'll see. Okay. Mm okay. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um... In terms of the layout of the, uh, kill box, um, here's my thinking. Let's get some plans down here. I think I'll set this area up here as, like, a separate room. That'll be where we have the various wooden walls and whatnot that we can, um, uh, set fire to, and then it'll start the, um, start the burning process. We'll have a corridor go down here. Can we... How close can we build these walls around these things? Okay, so we can't build... Okay. That's interesting. Ground penetrating scanner. Thank you. Let's go with long range mineral scanner next. And granite wall. Okay. So it seems like we just can't build anything right next to here. So I'm assuming that's where the uh, inhabitant of the crypto sleep casket emerges from. So what I'll do is, let's continue our planning here. Obviously we'll avoid this, but we'll have a granite wall 
I can't see anything because of these damn sleep, uh, these steel uh, components or steel things. Um, actually, let me set it up so that I can see the corridor rather than the wall. I think that more makes more sense. So I'll have this go here, go here, um, and over here, I guess. That there, and then that up there, and then this. I'm thinking maybe we'll set it up this way. Yeah, that way we'll have lots of twisty um, um, and uh, turny uh, walls and, and uh, corridors and whatnot. So that if they try to um, attack us, then they can't all shoot at us at the same time. And let's have this thing get, go even more, I guess, like this. That way if the fire does travel down the corridor, It'll have to take a little longer, but then it'll still superheat the entire room. And in case they actually drop something nice, I don't want the fire to destroy whatever uh, drops from their dead bodies. I think. I think that might be a good idea. It's the first time I'm doing this, so uh, bear with me as I kind of explore my options. Patsu is pregnant. Hopefully it won't lead to another miscarriage. But we have a lot of hay, so I think we're going to be okay. And that rhymed. That was fantastic. And I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm a little nervous because we haven't had a raid in a long time. So I'm just kind of thinking that Cassandra might be building towards something extreme. Which is obviously not good. Okay, so now that you guys have beaten the plague. Fantastic. Let's revert these back to non-medical beds. We really need like a medibay set up, I think. The simple fact that we don't even have like a medi bay is quite atrocious. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, I get it. And then set these back so that, um... Let me just do it manually. That might have been easier. Vanthus, you can take back your old bed. And Strong, you can take back your old bed here too. That's good. Oh, unhappy nudity. Who's nude? Lister's not wearing pants. What a fucking degenerate. Okay, let's make some pants. This is the this is for the good of the entire colony. And Miwino has just butchered a whole bunch of um wild boars. Can we get these out of here, please? Before the uh, family of wild boars decide to cannibalize on their own uh, young. Good grief. Oh, okay. I think we have a lot of meat. Including the insect meat that we actually used? Oh, look at that. We've actually used the insect meat to make some of these uh, meals. That's, um, that's, uh, that's, that's lovely. That's, uh, sounds very appetizing. We finished the long range mineral scanner. Fantastic. Let's go with hospital beds. Speaking of medi bays and whatnot. Okay. Cat is making some lab. Oh, he's making pants out of uh, Labrador fur. Not great, but it's for the good of the entire colony. I mean, I don't know why Cat decided. Did, uh, didn't decide to just use cloth and went for the uh, Labrador fur, but um, I guess now Lister can have some dog fur pants, and no, Sva decided to wear them. Wow, Lister. Holy shit. <laughs> Sva just uh, pants blocked you. Good grief. Alright, so the guys are busy uh, smoothing out the floors and whatnot. That's fine. I'm okay with this, as long as they're busying themselves with something. But I'd rather- okay. Can we move the steel out of here? Like, the fact that, that this is here is really just kind of blocking my vision. And I can't really get anything set up until we have all this moved out. Same with the granite blocks, I guess. That's fine. Okay, so everyone's coming in to move these steel blocks. Fantastic. So now we have some excess steel, I think. Or we will have some excess steel. And look at that! Sva actually managed to create a couple of components. That's awesome! Can who, Okay, so who can work on this thing? Minimum skill is crafting 10. Wow, wow, weewa. That's a lot of crafting required. Cat can do it, but he prefers to tailor. So we'll keep him as is. Mad animal, a local elk has gone mad. Again. Another day in the life of a, um, uh, in, uh, Canada. 
constantly being attacked by uh, mad elk and uh, beavers and whatnot. Come on. Don't let the elk get you. Fantastic. Might as well finish this thing off. No, let's just hunt it. That's good. Is it missing any body parts? No, it's not. Fantastic. Okay, good. Alright, so we are moving the steel out of here. Um, so in between episodes, I will uh, try to set up something um, to make this work. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll try to set it up so that we have like double or triple thickness uh, granite in turn in case it turns out to be actual bad guys. Because I think the mechanoids, if it actually turns out to be mechanoids, they're fairly powerful in melee. So they'll probably break through our walls in no time unless we make it like triple thick. So I think I'll do that. So yeah, I'll, I'll lay down the plans and whatnot in between episodes so that I don't bore you guys with it. But otherwise, that's it for today. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.